his campaign. Let's go to News 4's George Ricker. That's right. We are live at JJ's Bar on Elmwood Avenue with about 50 supporters of Mark Panapinto gathered here today. Panapinto himself is behind closed doors watching the results. But one of his uh, top supporters here is David Rivera from the Common Council. Mr. Rivera, uh, strange race here. Four, four guys in this race. Mark is the only Democrat in a district that has a Democratic edge, but it's still not an easy climb, is it? No, it's not. I mean, you have a four-way race. Um, and uh, Mark had a tough race. I mean, we have to look at the uh, the advertising, the commercials, and all the ads, and all the lits, and on all parts. Um, so it was a tough race. We knew it was going to be tough. Right now, 15 percent of the votes. Uh, I think the difference is approximately 80 votes or so. It's a long ways from being decided. I think this is going to go into the late hours, perhaps even in the morning. Uh, but we're, we feel pretty confident that uh, once they start counting the votes in the Elmwood Village and other parts of the city that uh, Mark will make up on it. Mark Panapinto is sort of a political newcomer, at least running for, for election. Why do you support him? Well, I've known Mark for uh, seven years. Um, he was a big supporter of mine when I ran back in 2007, and I was, um, he was very instrumental in helping me get elected. And he was a part of a progressive group of people that came together to support uh, um, different candidates. So, you know, back to Sam Hoyt, Sean Ryan, Maria White, myself, Mike LaCurdo. So there was a, uh, a group of young progressive people that wanted to make a difference, and they used the political process to do that. Okay, right now still watching the results. Mark Panapinto, we hope to hear from him sometime tonight, and we'll bring you the latest tonight at 10.30 and 11. For now, live at JJ's Bar in the Elmwood Village, George Rickard, News 4 at 10. Thank you, George. We're following